Contact in the World is Contact's pioneering international collaboration project for young people, redefining the way we make global youth theatre. Since 2002, we have produced five international festivals and worked with young artists from 67 different countries. In 2010, young artists from Denmark, England, Germany, India, Indonesia, Iran, Jamaica, the Netherlands, South Africa, Sweden, Switzerland and the USA work together online and in person to exchange their experiences and ideas. Their cultural and creative exchange culminated in an incredible summer festival here at Contact in Manchester. I was a volunteer for Contact in the World in 2008 over in Liverpool. Um, I was a participant in 2010 representing Manchester um, and this year I'm assistant directing CYC who are Manchester's company. To be part of Contact in the World 2010 was, for me, can I experience 28 and I, I really enjoyed it. I experienced it for one day and I thought right I've got to get involved with this so I auditioned for 2010 and as a process it was, it's long and it's difficult but so rewarding. I, it was. In the, in building up to the week, you work so hard with the company, with the people you're working with and with our, your twin, I was twin with India, it was absolutely incredible. For me, being part of Contact in the World as a participant was just a wonderful experience. The first time I was involved was 2004 as a volunteer, 2006 I think as a volunteer again, 2008 I actually got to do the show as uh, the representative company of Manchester and um, 2010 I was with the Sift Lords. I guess it's that thing of the whole world being in your home city, being from Manchester and then being in a space which I love and adore and being around different types of artists from around the world. Well, it's just informing in so many ways on different levels. And the fact that I remember us having conversations with people and we didn't know how to, we didn't speak the same language, but we spoke the same language. So we'd communicate through hand gesture and just feeling and it was just a masterclass of the way to be, no matter where you find yourself in the world. It's just that way of communicating on that human level. Hey, my name's Emma. Um, I'm in CYAC, and I'm going to be one of, part of one of the companies that's taking part in contacting the world. For me, contacting the world is not just an opportunity to experience other cultures. Um, it's an opportunity to be changed by what I see and it's an opportunity to work with people who, have, who are just as passionate about theatre as I am. The idea of all the different companies coming together for that one week for the festival and sharing their own ideas and watching each other's pieces of theatre and really just learning about each other's culture, that just seems really exciting and fun to me. I went to Trinidad to, to visit our twin. Um, I had an amazing time. Um, I learned so much, like, generally how they approach theatre and they have like a carnival approach, which is, is the traditional approach. And it's, everything's basically exaggerated. And um, it, was, it was definitely a unique experience. The fact that we can get in contact with all these other countries for it is, is, is incredible. And I'm really looking forward to it. Money shouldn't be a boundary when it comes to these things. It's important because it helps young people grow as artists. It's important because it puts Manchester on the map. It's important because it's been important to cultural exchange, it's important about breaking down boundaries, it's important to, to share experiences that we would never usually share and to meet people that we would never usually meet if it wasn't for this thing that is art and this thing that is contact in the world. In the current financial climate, Contact in the World is a massively ambitious project and a really challenging one to realise. It's a real privilege for Manchester, I think, to get to host this festival in our own city and um, to welcome these people from all over the globe to present Manchester as a forward-thinking, artistic, open-minded city. People need to support this project, Contacting the World, because it's something that brings together so many people. I mean, we live in a world with so much conflict, and I think much of the conflict is born because we don't understand each other. This is an opportunity, um, a world-class opportunity for people to come together, learn about each other. If anyone can support it, you should support it. You should, you should be here just to witness and see the beautiful pieces of art that's been created. It's not for the elite, it's not for the marginalised, it's for everyone and that's the beauty of it. So I think support, support, support.